everybody, welcome back to Cabin Crafts and my name's Candy and we're going to show you today a little quickie craft. Um, it's just starting to turn fall around here. I don't know if it is in your area, but um, one of the first leaves to turn uh, red in our area when we know so us, that fall is right around the corner is sumac leaves and these turn a really bright crimson red and it could be 90 degrees outside, but these will start turning. And when I see them, like fall is just around the corner. Now we're all in the country, kind of in the middle of a drought, but um, they're still pretty because they're natural looking. So I also brought my namesake. So my store is called Sassafras Creek Originals. And one of the reasons why I named my store Sassafras Creek Originals is because of the sassafras tree. So today is a little bit of a history and a science uh, lesson. So the sassafras tree is the only tree in North America to have three different leaves on one tree. So like an oak tree always has the same oak leaves and a maple always has maples, but a sassafras tree has an elliptical, two lobes, or I call it a mitten, kind of looks like a mitten, and then three lobes. And it also reminds me of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you look in creation, you can always find God's signature, and I think it's on sassafras trees. So like I said, this year it hasn't been an especially pretty year. These have some kind of spots on them. It's probably got to do with drought, but I went and picked a bunch of different sassafras leaves, and so I'm going to show you today how you can preserve leaves and you can string them into a garden for Thanksgiving or garland and then maybe lay them out, scatter them on your table um, if you can find really pretty ones. But all we're going to do is I've got my handy dandy crock pot here. Uh, this is golf wax. Um, it is paraffin, so it's very clear. It dries clear and you will find it either in the canning section of the hardware store or I found it in Walmart under Jell-O. Again, I don't know why it was under Jell-O, but here, here it is. So that's what you will need is paraffin. And since they have a stem, I'm just gonna dip it in my wax and let it drip. Now the interesting thing about sassafras, in early America, this was the second largest export to Great Britain beneath tobacco. I did not know that until I was doing a little research and I found that out and it was like, wow, because it has medicinal properties. It also flavored root beer. Um, the Indians used it as a, a medicine for uh, wounds. They would grind up the leaves and if you had a, a really deep scratches or whatever, they would wet, wet them and put it into the wound. And then, um, then they would also, they also were used as filet powder. So if you're in New Orleans and you like to make gumbo, they made filet powder, which is the leaves dried up and then ground into a powder and it thickens gumbo. Did not know that either. Very interesting tree and plant. Like I said, it's the only tree in North America that has three distinct leaves. So it's very unique. And that's why I named my business that because we have really unique things in here. So as you can see, you just lay them out to dry. Let's do a little uh, sumac. I might not be able to get that one all the way down in there because it doesn't have much of a stem. Look how red that is. Isn't that pretty? My mom would say that's as red as the blood of Jesus. So anyway, we just dip. But Google sassafras, um, it got outlawed in America because people figured out how to make a synthetic hallucinogenic drug out of it, which is like, oh, brother. But anyway, um, old timers used to, uh, that I knew when I was a little girl, they would drink a spring tonic of this every year. They'd make a tea out of it and drink it once a year in the spring because they said it thinned their blood. But now the United States has said that it's a carcinogenic, which they think everything is a car. But I mean, I, my great-grandfather drank sassafras tea every year and he lived way into his 90s. So I don't believe all of this. 
But anyway, here's our leaves. This is the first one we did. It's sturdy now. So you could like string a bunch of these together, make a pretty garland. But this is a cool way to um, preserve your leaves. So like if your kids go outside and they gather pretty leaves, you could gather a bunch of them together, put them on wreaths, string them across your fireplace mantle, just scatter them around on your table at Thanksgiving, and they're gonna they're gonna hold their color and they're gonna hold their shape. So that's a sassafras cabin crafts quick tip with sassafras leaves. Thank you, everybody.